go, Miss Sakamoto? That's me. Did you really think we'd just let you into Nijo Castle, the seat of the Shogun himself, you rebel dog? Of course you won't. I only ask you to tell you Shogun Yoshinobu one thing. I wonder where Ryoma went. Hmm. I was sure he was with you. I told him not to go out wandering on his own. Our biggest problem right now is Xanark. We have to beat him, and the only way to do that is with the help of Ryoma and Akita. But the Mixi Max with Ryoma failed, and Akita won't work with us. He might not even agree to it. I've never seen anyone that stubborn. Hmm. Are you all right, Victor? Yeah, it's nothing. Hey, Nakroka! There you are, Ryoma. And there you are, football friends! Feast your eyes on this, a letter from the Shogun! Yo, Shogun Yoshinobu has agreed to meet with me! <laughs> I've been invited to have a direct audience with him in Nijo Castle itself! You, you'd better not be telling me you walked right up to the castle of the Shogun. It's not as though I got to meet the man himself. They'd have cut me in two before I got up the steps. You worry too much, Nakuoka. Yes, I do worry. They aren't stupid, Roma. You're their enemy. Don't do their job for them by putting yourself in needless danger. But the Shinsengami have been taken over, and the Shogun needs to know. Who knows what they might do? Japan deserves better. We could stand tall on the world stage if we dared. And I do dare! It's too dangerous. You'd have to have a death wish to meet with the Shogun. He'd crush your dreams with one wave of his hand. It doesn't matter. I'm going. It's my only chance to make him see reason. No one else can do this. You'll see. I can find my courage when push comes to shove. We know you can. And you're not going alone. Too late. With us behind you, you won't need to worry about a thing. That means a lot. Thank you. But I don't want you to put yourselves in danger because of me. If worse comes to worse, save your own skins. Well, that certainly sounds like a dangerous objective to start off this new episode of Let's Play Inazu 11 Go Chrono Stones Thunder Flash. In the last episode, we met with Soji Okita for the first time. And now, immediately, we have a an invitation to meet with Shogun Tokugawa at Nijo Castle alongside Ryoma Sakamoto himself. But I mean, the, the character's dialogue says all I think we need to know, really. It doesn't exactly sound like a friendly invite, but we it, it must be done, so it will be done. And if we lose any members of the team permanently, in the process, then, I don't know, we just need to switch to easy mode, Fire Emblem style or something, please. Oh, hello, a new, a new emote of JP. You went on the boat? Ah, oh, I wanted to go. I want to go on the boat as well, I didn't see this either. Oh well. They don't have a care in the world, do they? Thank you, bye long, this is what I've been waiting for. Especially in his, uh, welcome party. Uh, you know, the welcome party for this new episode. It's, it's part 40. How are we already on part 40, by the way? Like, how long is this series going to be? I I don't have a clue anymore. <laughs> but that's fine. The more Inazuma 11 content I get to put out for you guys, the better. This is the last officially localized Inazuma 11 game so far, and I want it to last as long as possible. Ideally, well, I mean, I, I guess there's strikers, but... I haven't even played that one yet. Whoops. Um, I have said too much! Okay, back on with the plot. Anyway, we're in a bit of a hurry, so we'll pass by you, Sakamoto, and get straight over to Nijo Castle, because, um, I mean, at least if we can beat Ryoma to the post, then that would be uh, useful. Because much as I don't want anyone to get assassinated by the Shinsengami, I think somehow we're slightly less valuable than Ryoma Sakamoto himself. We're trying to save football, he's trying to save the world. Um, so we're here in the new northern area, which we haven't actually explored yet, and immediately there is a parallel stone. So, again, I'm very glad I don't have to ignore them anymore. 
This one contains a new goal celebration for us, which is kind of the main thing I like to gain from Parallel Stones. Well, that and the exclusive comedy stories, which I can't wait to show you, but we're not quite there yet. In the meantime, we've got air guitar, so hopefully that will start alternating into people's celebrations a little bit. Now, uh, another encounter, and the only thing for boss good for is to taste my blade. <laughs> the, the old statement. But anyway, the main reason I'm actually over here is to pick up this pal pack item, the indecisive radar, and now we can actually head in the right direction. The castle is over to the left. Will we meet up with Soji Okita once again? Will we die trying? Wow, so this is the Shogun's castle. Is the Shogun inside? It's very impressive. Let's pay him a visit! And as we wait to go inside, he's... Uh, yeah, Ryoma's never actually met the Shogun before, so this is a very important part of history that we're getting to intervene on and talk about a really good trip for... Uh, yep, but basically just Kaiser criticizing us of looking at this stuff when we shouldn't be. Yep. Oh, the river runs red. Again, that's uh, just slightly ominous as we head into a samurai hideout. <laughs> it's gonna be fine, right? So this is my idea. We play a football match to determine whether or not to open or close Japan. How's that? Uh, them against me and my Shinsengumi. And you will win? <laughs> you always were a kidder, Yoshinobu. Very well. The fate of Japan shall be decided by this battle. Really? You'll really consider it? If you win... Thank you, Your Eminence! Look at her. I hear you're the most skilled swordsman the Shinsengami has to offer. I charge you with Sakamoto's capture. Such service would surely raise the value of the Shinsengami in my eyes. Sir, my purpose is to protect the government, even at the cost of my life. 
Such loyalty. All right, well, thanks, Zanuck, for throwing us a bone, actually. You know, you could have just not proposed a football match and then we have no way of winning whatsoever. I mean, fair enough, that doesn't really align with his objectives. He's not so bothered about the Shinsengami ruling Japan for the rest of time and more about just crushing our love of football. But that we will try to avoid. Am I healed? I am not. I will sort that real quick. And that brings us into the match itself. So, formation is done. Let's take on Xanark's Domain in a nice, friendly match. You, of course, need Ryoma Sakamoto on the field, and this time I'm looking to get him a bit more involved than in that random encounter, which was randomly extremely difficult. So, Sakamoto, you can take the place of Eugene, because I've already been hovering over him for more than a second. And you need Richter... Richter, <laughs> Castlevania, and Voma, I guess. Um, so that the funny thing is, that means Arian is not even required. That's uh, unusual. I think that formation is already pretty good. I can see Arian's back in defence, but you know we might as well have a bit of an Arian free match. I can see the Emperor back in his rightful place already. We can't lose this one. You heard him, everyone. Play the best football you've ever played. Quite. And now, as your humble coach, I... Nakuoka, how would you like to be our coach? Uh, all right. Let's give it a go. But... Akita, I've made you stronger than ever. Now do me a favor and behave yourself on the pitch, okay? You can rely on me to defend the government. I'll have Sakamoto. Even if it kills me, I'll take him down first. I knew you'd say that. Xanark's playing his games again. I hope Akid is going to be okay. He's so stubborn. Like my brother. He reminds you of Vladimir? Whoa! Hold on to your surfboards! Time to start the match that will launch a thousand black ships! Or not! And watch your language! In the VIP box is none other than the 15th Tokugawa Shogun himself! Now, up in the VIP box is me, right? We are actually a little bit under-leveled. Well, that is a changing of the guards. I might as well keep it that way, and then we can get a bit more extra competition routing back in. So, Victor and Ryoma, Sakamoto, they're all in play, along with Bailong, because, of course, what else did you expect? I would sacrifice Arian to have Bailong on the field, so, uh, yeah... Everything's looking mondo autumnal here in the in the gardens of Nijo Castle. Perfect place for a football wipeout. Let's give it a go then. Kick the ball wherever we want. This is it, Sakamoto. You'll never touch the Shogun while I'm still around. <coughs> hey, are you okay? Why are you so obsessed with the government anyway? Because defending the government is defending Japan. They're one and the same. He'll never quit. Defending the government is everything to him. Akita, if you're going to risk your life in this fight, I won't hesitate to oppose you with all of my strength. Ha ha ha! Them's fighting words. And so that he will point to do, and he's so fast. <laughs> he's already caught up to me. Um, we're actually already in free play, by the way. So. Fair enough, uh, don't sleep on Okita just because he's not normally a football player. He's clearly got the best of Sakamoto already. You probably want to use this time to sneak in at least one or two goals because we basically have the entire first half to play with now. And Xanuk's Domain, as you've seen, they are no joke. They are very, very good. So let's take them seriously and use all my moves in the uh, uh, opening stages to see if I can sneak in... A cheeky goal. I'm not sure if Faye is quite the right answer because he does not have a fighting spirit to use, but at the very least we'll mix and match to try and up that power and see if the goalkeeper is willing to not bring out a fighting spirit just a little bit longer. Yeah, I didn't think so. Um, well, we might as well bring one out when uh, they're doing so. No, actually, I'll try and use Sicker in this match instead of White Wyvern, so... 
it can wait just that little bit longer once I'm able to mix max with Bylong anyway. So this is this is not going in, but it will run down the timer just that little bit. And so, yeah, I think you don't need the play-by-play. -play. I'm sure we'll get a goal at some point in this half. So let's just talk about the the setting the context of the chapter and a little bit about the chapter itself for a while then. So, obviously, we are taking the place of Sakamoto's team as they... as it Wow. <laughs> really now? You're going to make it that easy for me. Okay. Mixy Max, Chugaliang, let's bring it out. Not that... Chuga Liang's fighting spirit has a shot. By all means, going for Bai Long's normal fighting spirit would be much, much wiser in this scenario. But I just, I just want to see it because I will, will. Oh, <laughs> I clicked White Wyvern by mistake. Okay then, guess we're using that one. Sorry, sicker, if that is indeed how you say it. Let's just use White Breath because we've already got it out now. 704 power. Do you think that'll be enough? I mean, Giga Knuckle Sandwich actually was bringing out nearly 600 and something, but he has expended all of those and we'll get that goal. So, anyway, about the Shinsengami themselves, the game does a fairly good job of explaining what their purpose is. They are the special force unit who wish to... Uh, well, just maintain things as they are. It's fair enough understanding from their perspective at that kind of time, even if, yes, clearly Ryoma Sakamoto's way of thinking was probably better for the world at large. But what I didn't realise until I started doing a bit of research was actually just how... Uh, might as well mix and match. Uh, pretty much mix and match everyone. Uh, Gabby, you might as well, I guess. Yeah, especially if Xanax going for goal, we'll need that extra help in defence. Still using Cao Cao from the, from the previous chapter, bringing a bit of China over to Japan. But um, yeah, so what I didn't realise is that the Shinsengami is actually a much smaller organisation than I thought. The most amount of members it ever had at any one time was 302. So, you know, all in all, you'd think one big battle and you'd, you'd be... <laughs> You'd be through them. Fair enough, Sokita, uh, Okita Soji is a very skilled swordsman who you'd struggle to take down. But, yeah, I mean, well, hopefully we'll see through this chapter that maybe fighting is not the answer and Ryoma can just uh, use his magic words to get his way. For now, I don't think Faye is going to be getting any goals. Poor Faye is feeling really underpowered at this stage of the game. It has to be said... He's got a Mixy Max, but it's kind of naff, and he doesn't have a fighting spirit. And even his regular moves, like Bouncing Bunny, are not particularly strong. To say that he's like the second most important character in the game, he's genuinely got some catching up to do right about now. But uh, certainly he's not the focus here today. We want to be focusing on Roma as he attempts to mix and match with Ryoma Sakamoto for the second time. And they're really bringing out another one, huh? Well... I'm, I'm not going to overboard it. I've already got Bylong on deck. But, I mean, maybe maybe JP might have been a good idea. We see Shan Wu again. FP and TP on Faye is zero. Oh, dear. But anyway, so the other thing that I really needed to say straight away about this chapter is that... Is it really already time for a match with Xanarch's Domain? I mean, we arrived here in this time era about... Two episodes ago, wasn't it? We had the episode of touring around the world with uh, Ryoma on Arian's side, and then we had uh, Victor's side go off and look for Okuza Soji. Those were two episodes, and now we're here. <laughs> and then, uh, the big chapter boss, boss take on Xanark. This has been such a short chapter, especially in direct comparison to the other Japanese chapter, as I keep alluding to, that was a, a mammoth Goliath chapter and also, like, the best chapter in the game, potentially. But, um, yeah, this one, to say that we're going back to Japan, this time in the Kyoto era, uh, Kyoto area in the Shogunate era, don't mix those up. Yeah, this one's a lot, uh, a lot shorter and fair enough, this was clearly one of the, the, the cheaper chapters to develop. It's all reused music. 
the area is clearly made from scratch, even though it's, it's still in Japan. They still have to make it all from the beginning, of course. But uh, Le Flamme, while we have the opportunity, close out the chapter. This is a fun chapter, though. There is not a single bad chapter in Chrono Stones, and I like them all. And this has taught me uh, plenty about uh, Ryoma Sakamoto, Okita Soji. Here's something about Okita Soji. The man has never been officially depicted before. No photos, no drawings, no nothing. There's only like one photo out there which people thought was Okita Soji for a long time, and then it turned out that it wasn't. So basically when Inazuma Eleven was trying to put him in this game, they had complete freedom to design him however they wanted. They could have made a character from scratch, and they did. Somehow, I, I don't think Okita Soji has purple hair in real life. But, uh, fair enough, I do like how they've made him look. As we finally get rid of the goalkeeper's fighting spirit, we only got one goal on him in the first uh, half. Pylon won't be getting any more. Maybe we'll have to switch him out for Arian. Oh dear, how dare I use the main character. <laughs> Certainly Faye needs to get out of the way, regardless. But, yeah, and then Ryoma Sakamoto. He's, um, his design is a fair bit more faithful to the real historical figure, aside from the whole overweight thing. He's definitely not been depicted as overweight in his real life, or indeed many fictional representations of the character at all, but that's that's in Azuma 11. It does what it likes. It turned a character who was historically male into a woman in the last chapter. It's like, history can always be wrong, but it's like, I mean, yeah, Chu Liang, like, historically had a wife and has been uh, drawn on numerous occasions, but uh, bye, everyone! <laughs> Where have you gone? <laughs> <coughs> Okita, you're done. Go to the bench. Wait, no. I can still... <coughs> Okita, are you alright? There's nothing more I can do. Not like this. Nyet, you have it wrong. The government isn't Japan. Defending one doesn't mean you're defending the other. Defending Japan would be convincing the Shogun to open the country and think about the future. What do you know about the future? I know a lot of things. You probably won't believe me, but I've seen Japan in the future. I know what happens. What are you talking about? That's impossible. Akita, he's telling the truth. You must understand it. Japan is stagnating under the Shogunate. Preserving it is only delaying the inevitable. I know you understand it, but you still turn a blind eye and uphold the Shogun. Killing me won't change anything. A dithering here shut away from the world definitely won't change anything. What? We... Are you saying we were wrong? But we can't be. Even if you are wrong, can't you do the right thing now that you know? People make mistakes. It's how they react that's important. What difference does it make to me now? I can't do anything about it. So what? You're just going to give up? how you feel. But I know someone who never gave up, even when there was no hope. I respect him more than anyone else in the world. But I'm a member of the Shinsengumi. My job is to defend the Shogunate. Okita, please lend me your strength. With your help, I'll be able to defend something that's really important to me. You mean? I pledge to serve Japan, to protect the future of the country. Japan is irreplaceable to me. It's the most important thing in the world, and so I must defend it when called. Your life is not dedicated to me, but to the Shinsen Kumi, to the Shogun, to the future of Japan. Together, we will defend Japan. Yes, Commander. That's what the commander said. That the Shinsengumi was created to defend what's important. If you're telling the truth, then... All right. I'll trust you. 
I'll give you my strength. You've finally seen the light. I feel like I finally understand what the most important thing is. It's what I've been chasing after all this time. I may not have much time left. But I'll dedicate everything I have to this cause. We're not gonna get a better opportunity than this! Let's Miximax Akita and Victor! Whoa, dudes and dudettes, I hope you're ready for this. We've got a new mixy match between Blade and Ogata to spice things up. I wonder what Chrysanthemum K means. Guys, where did everyone go? Did Tyler the Toaster end the video? Oh, buzz off.